We began Lent with ashes. Ashes are a traditional symbol of mourning. Dust you are, and to dust you shall return. We mourn not only our mortal nature that we will die. We mourn our failures, our seeming inability to live the lives God calls us to live. As Paul wrote, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Our failure weighs heavily on us. And Lent has often been viewed as a season of remorse for our failures. As a result, the word repent often carries a heavy tinge of guilt. Lent becomes the season of feeling guilty. And none of us can live for long with that. But the word repent comes from the Greek meaning to turn around. We might think of that as meaning that we are invited to turn from our sin, to turn from our failures. And that certainly is one meaning. More importantly, I think, it means to turn toward God, to turn in a Godward direction, to conform our lives to God. Since God we know is everywhere, since God is always with us, I think repentance actually has to do with a call to live in the awareness that God is with us. Every action is begun, continued, and finished in God. God is the one, as the Collect for Purity says, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. When we behave as if our actions were somehow hidden from God, then we fool ourselves, because God is present everywhere we are. St. Augustine is famous for saying, love God and do what you want. Well, what would it mean if we held all our actions before God? What would we want to do? May this time of Lent be a time when we hold all that we do before God.